Hi everyone, welcome or welcome on back to my channel. My name is Iris and this is my 21 month lock update. So for the past two months, I've been dealing with the growing away from my locks and finding that it's been thinning out certain locks. And to combat that, I decided to crochet two of my locks that the issue was happening to. And I didn't crochet them or anything this time. I actually tried the braiding method. There wasn't much hair missing from them, so the crochet did hold it together pretty well. But I did notice like a few strands were out of the lock. So I braided those into the lock instead of crocheting it this time. And also I decided to crochet some other locks that were separating on this end of my hair to see if that method would also work for my locks. So it looks like that's what I'm going to have to do. I mean... At this point, I'm not sure which method I'm going to keep. I'm trying the braiding method to see the difference, really. And the crochet does work, um, but I still have a bit of hair that is still trying to separate. So, or still growing away from <laughs> my locks, but it's not as much as it was before before I decided to do the crochet method. So that's what's going on with those locks there. Everything else has been pretty good. Nothing really is going on with my locks at this point. They are doing well and I believe I'm going to color them soon. Like I said before, I've been wanting to color them so i'm thinking maybe next month or june i may just go ahead and decide to color them and do it before my two years which is in july but other than that they've been doing very well the lint issue that i was having before seems to be doing much better i'm not finding clumps and clumps of lint in my lock since I switched the method of the product that I was using to retwist my hair. So now I'm just sticking to water and oil. And also I'm still brushing my locks and that seems to be helping also with the lint issue. Other than that, they seem to be doing pretty well. No other major issues that I'm noticing at this point in the journey. So I guess I'll just go ahead and give you guys a 360. Okay, so I'm a bit closer. So, like I said, everything has been going pretty well. And I'll give you a closer look at the locks here that were in question. So I believe they're doing pretty well. They don't look as sparse and thin as they were looking before, they look like they have more of a pattern here. It doesn't look like it's thinning like it was majorly right here, especially on this one. So I believe these are okay. This is another one that was separating. And I was trying to braid the hairs onto this one also. I noticed this month it's starting even back here in this back area. Some of these are trying to 
not stay together with the lock and separate also. But my the back of my head is doing much better, which is great. So the back of my head seems to be more trained than the front of my head with the groin away from my locks. So that's why I'm just trying the two different methods to see which one is going to work because if you have this problem like me, you definitely don't want the locks to keep growing and then the hair is separating and then the lock is going to thin out and probably eventually break. So I'm definitely deciding not to combine them at this point. I'm gonna keep going with the methods of, you know, trying either the crocheting or this time I'm trying the braiding method to see which one is really going to work to hold the locks together throughout the remaining of the month. I know that some of you have been saying to stretch out the retwist time, you know, because I'm doing it every four weeks, every month. So I'm thinking for my two, you know, two year mark, which is in July, I may try to stretch it out until then from this point on, which is, I'm gonna be honest, it's going to be a challenge for me because when it starts to separate up there, I, I just feel like I just wanna go in and get it together because I start to think that things are going to get tangled up there and matted like it used to in the past, in the, you know, the beginning of my journey, which is what used to happen a lot. A lot of tangling, a lot of matting, a lot of combining. So I think I may challenge myself to see if I can do that or at least try to stretch it to six weeks instead of doing it every four weeks and see if that will help thicken up the locks in general and see if that will help with some of the growing away from the locks. Maybe giving the locks more time to do what they need to do, but if I see that it's not really working probably by week six, then I'm probably just gonna go in and retwist them. Just gonna be honest with you because I don't wanna go too far with them and then they start to get weak and break off is what I'm really worried about. But other than that, the other major thing that I'm noticing is growth. She is coming together, which is very exciting at this point before the two year mark. You know, the length is definitely appearing even more. Like I said, in my 18 month, that's what I'm noticing. Like the growth is on 10. It's coming together really well. And what I feel like what's happening with my locks is since they're so different in the different lengths and sizes that they're starting to fill in the gaps. And that's what I'm noticing. It's not so much growth as in, you know, it's dropping way below my collarbone or anything like that. But I'm noticing from before, I feel like it's filling in the spaces. Like I feel like here, definitely in this area, it looks a bit more fuller because the locks here are starting to reach the longer locks, which are usually the ones that are in the back back here. Like I said, this is, was my longest lock. This one back here, this used to be the longest one always. But as you can see, the rest of them are starting to catch up to this one, which is kind of balancing out the length. I wouldn't say it's an issue, but since I have so many layers, it's, it's kind of catching up with the rest of the lock. They're starting to come down and catch up with the longer locks that I have, which is great. The bang area is of course getting so long. You can see how much it's disrupting my eyesight at this point. And this is also an area that I have a bunch of different, you know, lengths and layers here. And I don't know if I've ever mentioned this. The reason why I believe I have all these layers is because I actually did trim or cut my own hair <laughs> before I started my locks. So when I went in with the shears or the scissors, I was just cutting off dead ends, anything that looked like it wasn't needing to be there anymore, it got cut. So <laughs> there was no rhyme or reason I just went in and started snipping 
where I thought things needed to come off and the hair wasn't looking as good as it should before I started the locks. So that's probably why I have so many layers is because I just went scissor happy and started cutting things off. So that is something to consider before you start your locks, getting a trim. You don't have to do it yourself if you don't want to. And also deciding if you want to color them before you get the locks, I think is a very good idea before you start your locks if you want your hair to be colored. I want to say it's not extremely difficult to color them while you have the locks, but of course it's 10 times easier to do it on loose hair than, you know, waiting until you have the locks and then deciding to color them. So you could do whatever is best for you, but for me that was what I decided to do, which was do a trim and color the hair before I started the locks. So definitely that is what's going on with that. I don't know if I've showed you in the last update, but remember the lock that I thought wasn't locking, it was giving issues, which was this one because I started it three months later than the rest of my locks. This is how this lock is doing. Much better. You can see it's definitely started to lock and it's doing much better and there's no definitely no separation now at this point and this is how long it's gotten which is crazy because like i said i started this lock three months after the fact of me starting the rest of my locks and look how long like this is a lock that i started from the beginning it's catching up pretty fast which is incredible to me because you know the length wasn't there before and this is my other new lock this is the one I started from my edges which started to grow out here like I've said before in many videos I had issues during my postpartum where I lost all my edges and I definitely feel like right here is a trouble area that hasn't fully grown back to its full capacity so when I see hairs that grow back here, I go ahead and decide to create a lock, which is what I did here. And this lock is doing very well. Also, you can see that it started out really thin because like I said, this is my edge, my edges. Started out really thin, but it's getting thicker and thicker as it progressed, which is really good. So that is pretty much it for my 21 month lock update. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye guys.